Banshee Fever 750. All right, well, got a new update on my Trail Tech uh, mount that I made. I just was going back and forth trying to figure out where exactly I wanted to mount this. You know, the uh, the original mount broke and it was there. But, uh, you know, I don't want to look down. You know, when I'm riding this thing, I don't want to be turning my head looking down and to the left when I need to be looking forward. So I figured, let me put this in a spot that uh, is more user friendly than aesthetically looking. Um, you know, more form, function over form, form over function. So, um, or both, <laughs> I need form and function. But uh, anyways, uh, I'm gonna show you how this goes. I took this, I made this little bracket. I gotta clean it up, so don't knock me yet. This was a pain, I've been working on it here and there. But you can see, I, I drilled these two holes. I took this aluminum plate and I had some aluminum stock laying around, so I cut it out. And I've still gotta grind it down smooth. Um, make it look all nice, bevel the edges. This is just a quick mock-up, and I'm gonna paint it. But I drilled the holes and I countersunk them. See, they're in real nice. And I kinda drilled another hole here, and then I drilled a hole on my bracket that actually holds. You can see it's still got the uh, cutting fluid on there. So I'm just kinda just, this is all rough, okay? So um, this is the actual bracket that holds the gauges in place. You can see it, see the rubber dampeners? There's one here, and I got the other one on the counter. So the gauges basically sit right around. Let's see if I can get you to, okay. So the gauges sit there, okay. So basically, you can see the rubber dampeners that are there. That really helps out, you know, with the vibrations and stuff like that. But uh, all right, I'm gonna go on ahead and uh, put this in place so you can see uh, what it looks like when it's all together. <clears throat> all right. So here's the bolts. This is just a mock-up, guys. Remember, I've got to clean all this up and I'm going to make it look a lot nicer. All right, let me just tighten this up. Okay, see, I'll straighten this out. All right, can you see what's going on there? All right, so this is just all, like I said, this is a mock-up. We're going to see how this works out. You know, I've been playing with this all day and I'm gonna make it look better. But see, as you can see, so you got the vapor here. I didn't want to put it on the side here because it's kind of hard to see. So I'm gonna just kind of button this up. I don't have the shroud on, as you can see. Um, but basically that's where it's gonna be. Voila. That's the first try right there. And uh, I like it. That'll work. So then uh, let me get the key to see how that lights up. All right, let's see. You know, actually, it probably would have been better. Maybe I might bring it up just a tiny smidge. You know, I'll bring it up a quarter inch because uh, I've got this little deflector here that's got to go there and I'm going to cut it up a little bit. But uh, I may bring it up just a smidge. But uh, that's basically it. I'll light it up for you. Okay, and let me turn the light off so you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like in the dark. I'll leave one light on. Let me shut the light off. Alright, there you go. There's the trail taking action. That's it, buddies. I'm happy with that. That looks really sharp. So I like that better. Originally I was gonna put it on the left side, but I'm I'm digging this. My son, he says, Dad, you know, you're better off putting it up top so you can look forward and see everything. That way you're not looking at the lower left. So let me go turn these lights back on. But that's yeah, it's looking pretty funky, man. I'm liking it. Get this light going again. Yeah, Trotec makes uh, pretty good products. I'm really happy with their, their products. Their brackets were a little chintzy, but you know what, I, I, I don't mind making my own stuff anyways. So uh, you can see on this side, basically, originally the mount was made for handlebars. You don't want to be looking at left and down, you know, when you're cruising at a decent clip. What you want to do is have it up here in the center. And uh, you see these little LED lights. These are actually little shift lights. You can program it to be shift lights or over rev lights. Launch lights, you can make this one launch and this one's a shift light. Or you can set them up for overheat conditions, yada, 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 all that stuff. There's a lot of lot of options on this, but like I said, right now I've got it set up so I can see the ambient air is 58 degrees in my garage, miles per hour speed, distance I've driven, you know, the time and all kinds of other good stuff. So, Banshee Fever, I just want to give you guys a quick shout out, let you know what I'm up to. I'm going to go on ahead and... Uh, 
I'm gonna probably bring that up about a quarter inch and then put it right, get it right to my liking. I mean, I do like that there, but uh, I'll make another video when it's all buttoned up and done. Uh, oh, real quick, and you guys know, my plan is I've been looking at these cafe racer shields and I wanna, I wanna put a shroud over here. So I've seen these ones that clip onto the bars, these universal ones, kind of the, the cafe, cafe racer bug screens, the fly screen, so to speak. And then I'm gonna have, have it come up to about here. Just something, I'm gonna see if I can get something, the little bubble. You know, if I gotta go somewhere, have them custom make it, then I will. But it, I've seen some universal little bubbles here. That way kind of create a cockpit area. And then like I said, I'm gonna mount the radar detector over here. So, and the radar detectors, I don't know if you guys are familiar with it, but they do use radar on the trails. There's certain trails that where they, the DNR is sitting there at the intersections from county to county. And I haven't had a problem with them yet, but, you know, I'd rather just kind of know that they're there. So just in case I'm having a little too much fun, uh, you know, I'm not out there to get anybody hurt. But uh, sometimes, you know, it's nice to feel the breeze and go through the gears a little bit. But uh, um, so, it's, you know, it's good. It's good just to let you know what's going on around you, and, you know, up ahead. And uh, always remember, follow the speed limits. Do not speed. Never speed on a trail. The speed limit's 35. It's 35. The radio detector is pretty much there in case I kind of forget how fast I'm going and I need to get reminded. So, um, and they are legal in my state. So, uh, Banshee Fever 750. Uh, I'll leave you with another shot of the Banshee. Uh, see what's going on. Baby Blue. Still working on uh, what I'm going to do with the rims and stuff like that. But uh, next step after this. After this trails tech thing, I want to button up my uh, coolant lines. So that's the next phase of this project. I'm just trying to touch things up on this banshee, little by little, getting it all snuffed up. And uh, you know, I've got a couple people that made me offers on buying it, so it may go, it may not. I don't know. Uh, depends on who comes with the right amount of money. But anyways, banshee's fever 750. There's my steed. See these coolant lines? These I'm gonna get rid of the other stuff and the. Uh, Maybe put braided lines on there and dress it up and just gonna do something nicer. I just did that so that, you know, I could be out there riding and stuff like that. It was just a quick fix. But yeah, this is all gonna go away. I'm gonna update the fuel lines and all that good stuff. The Earl's fittings. But uh, so there you go. Banshee Fever 750, over and out. Um, if you got any comments on anything, make sure you uh, leave a comment, rate, subscribe. I'll see if I can get some more videos coming up. I've still got a lot of improvements to do on this one. I've got a few builds. We've still got the outlaw there sitting right there with the four-cylinder street bike engine. Uh, that's my son's outlaw. We haven't got to that yet. Just been really, bu really busy here in the monster garage. So, uh, with this Banshee. So, that's, what we're, that's what's going on with that outlaw. So that'll be coming up next. But uh, I want to button up this Banshee and uh, and then uh, we'll make some vids of that all. All right, Banshee Fever 750 over now as usual. Leave comments. Uh, I answer them back all the time. I won't leave you hanging. But any recommendations, any ideas, if you have questions, uh, I'd be more than glad to help you on your build. Banshee, 7, Banshee Fever 750 over now.